Welcome back to Couple Movie Watchers, okay? We're back at it, talking about movies. Yes, movies. Anna, where you at? Right here. Yes, we just finished watching the movie The Fat Man with Mel freaking Gibson. If you don't know, he was a big deal 80 years ago. But now, he's in your B movies and C movies. No longer a leading man in the big blockbusters like he used to be. Like Lethal Weapon 1 through 80. And man, <laughs> and what else he playing in? What a Woman Wants. Yeah, that was him too. Mm. And now he's just the fat man. Which was actually, I thought, was a unique concept. Uh, this is going to hey, be gonna the intro. Intro. Yes. Before we get started, y'all, hit that like button and subscribe. All right? And listen to this intro. All right, we're back. So you guys already like, subscribed, and comment, maybe, who knows. But we're talking Ooh. about the Fat Man, the movie. Why you should be watching it. Oh, no. No. Yes, we're talking about the Fat Man. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I guess I'll give my point of view first, and then you can go next. I thought it was a good movie. It was different from all the other movies out there, especially with Santa Claus. You know, they had Santa Claus kind of like a superhero with superpowers. So it was interesting. One through ten, I give this movie a solid six. Definitely worth watching if you got nothing else to do and it's free on Peacock at the moment. Peacock, which is a horrible name for a streaming service. They should have said Plus or something else like everyone else. Peacock, who's who, like, really? But anyway, that's a whole nother debate. <laughs> um, Getting off topic over here. For real, I think this is a good movie, good concept, worth watching. And it's good to see Mel Gibson back. If you don't even know who he is, do your Googles. Go ahead, Anna. What do you got to say about the movie? It was a different different type of story. Usually when you think of Santa Claus or like Christmas movies, they're jolly, funny, magical, and happy. And this one went really dark. It's just showing the other side of, you know, the kids that don't do so good throughout the year. And then he wasn't as jolly as he would have been. But I mean, it's, you know, he's tired of all the kids just giving up on on him and and uh, on themselves. So I actually like the story. So thought it was a good movie. Yes, indeed. Definitely a good movie. Definitely worth watching if you haven't seen it already. Yeah, I think it's unique. If you don't you're tired of the same old, same old story plot lines. This is a good either regular holiday film, action comedy. We're not going to go into really too many spoilers, but I thought overall how they built up the Santa Claus mythology. I thought they did a good job here as far as showing glimpses of he's not really a human. You know, if you're Santa Claus, you know, what would life be at like in 2020 or 2021? Mm -hmm. You know, Santa Claus got bills too, man. And, you know, <laughs> yeah. and people wouldn't know about him like the government and stuff like that. And I like how they involve like the milk and cookies. And that's all I'm going to say. So hit that subscribe button, like, comment. Until next time, everybody. Peace. Peace.